from the parent tributes. <laughs> Thank you, Tia, for the kind introduction and for leaving out professional procrastinator from my bio. Kasalilia Mango. I Juan Wao Bampatemache, Matianga Mango. Your Excellency, First Lady, traditional political and religious leaders, family, friends, faculty, and staff, and good looking graduates. Good evening. You have probably invited me here because you've heard me speak before in some faraway conference or faraway place to leaders and people that I will most likely never see again. But tonight is different because tonight I am home and we will see each other again. So if I do a bad job, I can't run away and leave and not worry about seeing you ever again because we'll probably run into each other at Namaki in the morning. <laughs> but in all honesty, despite what you may think, this for me, giving this speech is scarier than any world stage. Because this, this is more important. This is home. This is where it matters because all of you sitting on that stage are a part of my home, our home, and we share it. We share all of the good and all of the bad, the beauty that makes this Ponfe, the challenges that make this Ponfe, the history we all come from and the future we are all shaping. This place and all of its majesty and magic, this is ours and no one else's. Through the clans that we all carry that connect us back to our ancestors who were stargazers, warriors, healers. To the pursuit you are all about to embark on, it all circles back here, our roots. And so the magnitude of this moment is not lost on me. Speaking to you here is a greater honor than speaking on any world stage, so thank you. Thank you for letting me be a part of your moment. The pursuit that I have been on since graduating from this very gym has been one that God has made possible in ways that I never could have ever imagined. But I don't want to talk to you about any of the things that probably made you think that I'm worthy of even standing here. I don't want to talk to you about the wins or success stories. I want to talk to you about all of the things that don't show up on a resume or bio or LinkedIn profile. I wanna to talk to you about the not so Facebook post worthy things. I wanna get real with you because I would be doing you a disservice if I told you that once you march out of here, your plans are going to go exactly as you intend because somewhere along the way they won't. So I wanna to talk to you about all of the times that I've lost and lost miserably. I want to talk to you about my failures and rejections and my mistakes. Because those, those are the moments and the things that you learn from. Not the moments when you are standing tall, but the moments that life brings you to your knees and you need the grace of God to bring you back up. Because it is those moments that when you decide what to do next is what shapes your trajectory. You are the sum of your experiences, and mine have been shaped by not so fairy tale happily ever afters. I didn't go to college straight away because I couldn't land any full ride scholarships, and we couldn't afford anything but. And I mean, literally, couldn't afford the $50 application fee. When I applied for my dream job, which was managing that climate change adaptation program for my Micronesia that I had already been working for for seven years, I was rejected and saw it given to someone who had never been to Micronesia before. The first three grants that I ever applied for for our NGO were all denied because no one wanted to take a chance on the new guy. The first time I ever tried speaking in public abroad was in Japan after winning a speech contest at COM and the prize was a trip to Japan. And I was asked to give the same speech I did at COM and I was so terrified being out of Pompeii and out of my comfort zone that I got stuck in the middle. The stage fright hit me so hard that I couldn't continue. Nine years later, after not being able to afford college application fees, 
I finished my degree, after not getting my dream job, I realized that the job was only a vessel to do the work that I loved. So yeah, we started our own geo, our own NGO, to have our own vessel to keep doing the work that we loved. After the day I froze up in Japan, I was invited to go back the next day and finish what I started, and so I did. And I have been trying ever since. I'm also one of the common statistics here in Pompeii where men father children and then decide afterwards that they don't want to be a father, leaving me to be raised by strong, independent, Micronesian women, and that has been the defining blessing of my life. I grew up absorbing racism in Hawaii where, where the problem we see today was just as bad. And I remember when I was little being ashamed of who I was and feeling like I had no permission to have a voice. Today it is the very pride of who I am and who we are that drives me to stand up in front of the world and tell them who we are and now that I've found my voice, I ain't giving it back. Those were the moments that forced me to grow up that taught me that life owes me nothing, and if I want anything, I better earn it. Those were the moments that mercilessly dragged me by the hair and out of my comfort zone, and put me face to face with the realization that so long as you stay in your comfort zone, there will never be anything new for you there. No new growth, no new opportunities, no new chances to expand at life, as far as you dare, because the choice is always yours. Pursuing your goals in harmony with Christ. I'm a huge fan of your class aim because it tells me two things. One, that you are ready to go out there and get your goals. And two, that you know that you need Christ to get them. The act of pursuit, it is not passive. It is not idle. It is not a matter of accident or coincidence. It is intentional. It is on purpose. It is passion. It is knowing what you want out of life, but also what you want to give back to it, your contribution. It is the chase. It is dreaming, followed by waking up and then actually doing something about it. And to that I say pursue. Pursue relentlessly on, but before you do, I need you to know something. I need you to know that you matter, because there is racism out there waiting for our people that will try to tell you that you don't. Don't make the same mistake I did of believing them, not even for a second. I need you to know that your voice is urgent and it is necessary. Don't make the same mistake I did of silencing your story, not even for a second. I need you to know that I see you. Because there is a world out there that will treat you like you're invisible based on what they cannot see on a map. Don't make the same mistake I did of ever feeling small, for it has never been about landmass and miles, but the measure of your heart. I need you to know that we need you. Your islands need you. Every single one of us has a role to play in building our nation. You are everything our country needs and more. Oops. So please pursue, but do come back and bring it back home to where it matters. I need you to know that you will fall down and that you will make mistakes, and that there will be rejection and failure. And I need you to know that it will still be okay. Because you already know that the pursuit that lies ahead, God has your back, so pursue fearlessly, relentlessly, and wholeheartedly. I need you to know that love is courage. Because there is a status quo out there that will tell you that caring is weak. They'll say that showing love is pathetic when in fact it is probably the bravest thing that you can do. The world doesn't need any more apathy. It needs people who care and who care enough to do something. I need you to know that the pursuit never ends. There is no end date to growth, no graduation date for learning. The finish line for you to cross doesn't exist. 
The pursuit is alive so long as you have something worth pursuing for, and believe me, you will. So wherever you are in your pursuit, wherever your pursuit ends up taking you, I hope these words reached you. Thank you again so much for having me. Congratulations, class of 2019.